noise. What is happening, everybody? Welcome to episode three of Pitcherless Plays D and D. Uh, going around, of course, I am Sir Thunderguard, uh, and to my, I guess, my left is Austin Bristow. Austin Bristow, who are you? I am playing as Glass, the Light Cleric. Cool. After that, John Metzelar over here. Yeah, I'm Father Manny. I'm a uh, devotee of Ballism and another <laughs> and a cleric as well. Awesome. And Dana Port. I am Theo Gracias. Uh, I'm a uh, rogue, the greatest thief in all the land. Mm. And of and of course, leading us on our journey is our wonderful DM, Michael Levy. Thank you so much for creating this fantastic world for us, Michael. No problem. This is fun for me. So, <laughs> uh, so for this week, who would like to give a recap of what we've done so far? I can do it. All right, Austin, what we got? All right, so uh, it's now our third session here. So in the first one, basically, we all met together in uh, Cooperstown City, where there, there was a large funeral for the former king, King Mad Leonidas Bigby, MLB. Uh, so after the funeral, we were we each got a note to meet a Peter List, uh, <laughs> who sent us on a quest to find the Ring of Champions. There is a, there are two potential new uh, rulers, one being Dustin Hansen, aka DH. The other is Philip Itcher, P. Itcher. There, uh, and so we are to find this Ring of the Champions in it in order to figure out which of them ought to be the new ruler. In our second session, we made our way to National City, mm. uh, where we went and did a little bit of shopping, went to the library, and um, at the library, we went. We met a Dodge Martin, who was a librarian, and uh, he sent us down to the restricted section, kind of an ancient ruined section of the library that was supposedly cursed. We went down, fought some uh, skeletons, dismembered a few of them, eventually solved this puzzle in order to uh, do away with the curse and found some books on the Ring of Champions along with a few other artifacts, things along those lines. Bought a few magical items after that and we made our way to an inn in National City. Nice. I, what, did we do anything at that inn? We Not basically, yet. I think we just got to the inn and then okay. that was where the session ended. Gotcha. Cool. And what time of day is it, Michael? Uh, so you guys enter the inn. It's around four o'clock. Oh, all right. Not too bad. No, you, you still got a good half day ahead of you. Cool. I, uh, who do we see at this lovely establishment? Okay. So why don't you roll a perception check? Everyone sure. Roll a perception check. <laughs> That sounds fun. Uh, 17 for Sore. The fighter from the clan of Lagany. L apostrophe Agony. With his orange and uh, blue cape waving behind him. <laughs> Nine for Glass. I 12 for Father Manny. 17? Yeah, 17 for Port. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, so as you walk in, you all see it is a very rowdy establishment. Uh, there are flags of red and white hanging on the walls. Um, uh, there are tablecloths that are red and white. It's basically a sea of red and white and people are everywhere. Mostly, um, mostly drinking beers and ales. Uh, there are a few fancy drinks, but everyone's genuinely having a good time. Uh, let's see. Some of you see some other things. Not me. So, <laughs> you see nothing. So, so uh, no, that's not true. That's not true. Uh, so, I'll start with glass. What glass sees? Um... So, Glass, you walk in, you see all the fancy red and white. Um, you also see a... Um, uh, you see some small children. 
um, that seem to be interested in this Goliath who has walked into their room. Uh, and you see a group of drunk old men seem to be waving you over. Uh, let's see. Uh, Father Manny, you see um, uh, what appears to be a halfling. He is in a very shiny knight armor, and he appears to be... Uh, he's also... He's in very shiny silver knight armor, and he has uh, a cape of red and white. Um, he appears to be just sitting um, at the bar, uh, taking a drink. Um, and then for... The other two of you, you guys see the same halfling fighter. You also see um, a family with a mother, a father, and three kids. They are huddled up in a corner. Um, and you um, also see a walk in right behind you, um, a medium height, like, uh, you know, five, six feet tall. Uh, figure stumbles into the pub wearing a long green cloak. And finally, what uh, you all see, except for glass, unfortunately, is there <laughs> appears to be a job postings board behind the bar. Um, so glass is essentially someone named Angel because he doesn't see anything. Uh, wow. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, I, uh, but essentially, um, something i forgot about so we we got the book from the library right yeah. um did it guide us did it, what was the information that it gave we us we haven't read any, any anything no one's even yet. opened the book any <laughs> of books. not at all <laughs> so we're just like screw it all right we did something let's just like chill for a moment <laughs> well i think we could go somewhere to read the book yeah that that might be the first thing that we should do right maybe well, well, first, there's there's some old drunk men that are waving me over. Of course, and of course. I'm definitely going to walk up to them. Go right ahead. Uh, so as you walk up to them, one of them's going to look at you and be like, "You, sir, you 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 appear to be looking for something. What is it that you're looking for?" Well, uh, right now I could use a strong drink and a bed. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Well, well, this inn is usually very full. You might want to go out and uh, try try the other inns in this city because this one's always full. Um, then another one's going to interrupt and go, no, 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 no. What you want to do is you want to go to the bartender and ask for the secret room below the inn. That's very special down there. And that third one's going to interrupt and be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Go on the roof. The roof is always free. I would like to roll an insight check on okay. all of them, I guess. <laughs> Specifically the one that's talking about the uh, secret room or the room below. 17. Um, so as you look at them, um, it, it appears they all are just making things up. Good, good, fantastic. Well, uh, do, do they, does, which of them has the fullest drink in front of them? Um, the one that told you about the secret room. Great. I'm going to grab his drink and I'm going to just empty it into my own mouth. Okay. Um, as you do that, all three of them are going to stand up. That's reasonable. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you, why are you drinking? What is wrong with you? Do you want to fight? I don't want to fight, but I also don't like it when people lie to me. Ah, well, we were just, we were just having a little fun. I set a silver down on the table and I say, carry on, gentlemen. Does he have to do a constitution check for, like, getting sick from drinking this guy's beer now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess you could do a con save. Um, but yeah, he's he's going to look, take the silver, he's going to give you a nice nod, and they're going to sit down. Hmm. All right, con save seven. Oh, no. Okay, wow. so, I mean, you chug that pretty quickly, <laughs> pretty hard. Uh, you also just fought off some undead skeletons. 
Yeah, you're you're feeling kind of woozy. All right, that's fair. Mm. So Father Manny is going to approach the knight in his armor, and he says, "Excuse me, sir. I have an eye for greatness, and I I can tell that you're a special individual. Who who are you by by chance?" Oh, you have not heard of me. Well, my my name is Bambino. Oh my god. <laughs> I am actually the youngest knight ever to serve on the king's personal guard. I am just simply I mean the king is dead, so I would need to wait for the new king to take place and I will guard him. But right now I am guarding the mayor of National City and I'm just on break right now. Ah, the great Bambino. Yes, yes, I've heard of you. I've heard of you and your many battles. Um, I'm curious, considering your proximity to uh, the former king, where do you stand on the current predicament in terms of who should rule this land? Ah, well, well, I'm here just to protect the king. But if you ask me, Pete Itcher is really the guy to go for. Um, I, I don't really see a point of of Hansen at all like there's there's really no need for him it's interesting because I I feel as if I've heard the townsfolk clamoring for Dustin Hansen they've been saying that (laughs) his his rule should be universal in fact Uh, but role deception (laughs) (laughs) yes universal Dustin Hansen is the best so I roll an eight uh, so he's going to look, he's, well, like I said, I'm, uh, it's my duty to guard the king either way, but I, I think you should talk to more people because I highly doubt the people in this city are cheering for Dustin Hansen to take over. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, considering your preference for, um, P. Itcher, um, what can you tell me about him? What makes him such a great potential ruler? Well, he's just... He, he really is, like, the glue that could hold everything together. Like, he, he's he's going to be he's gonna be the guy, you know, calling the shots. He's going to be helping people. He's going to be helping, helping the Empire both offensively and defensively. <laughs> well, I can certainly appreciate that. You seem to know quite a bit. Could uh, I tempt you to join me and my uh, merry band of friends in our journey? Uh, I mean, I do not have much time on break, but I could spend the rest of it with you guys. Ah, very nice. So, Father Manny... What is your name? Oh, my name is Father Manny. Ah, oh, yes, a religious mm-hmm. band. Ah, of course I'll join you. Excellent. So, <laughs> Father Manny brings uh, Bambino over and introduces them to everyone. Does he... He has a cape, correct? Yes. Um, Sora goes over and starts comparing capes with Bambino. Um, and, uh, how is his quality compared to Sora's? Uh, it's a lot better quality. <laughs> how did you make this? You, this is this is incredible. Oh, like I said, I am the youngest knight to protect the king. And Bambino, yes, we've heard stories um, and of you know. <laughs> Um, that would just float through the air, uh, as you will, of Bambino. Wow. Well, <laughs> very, very fond of drink. Only, I may say they're only legends, but you know? legends come from somewhere. Yes, it, it, my understanding is that you know they wouldn't trade you for anything. Oh no, not at all. Of course not. <laughs> not a good. Uh, is there is anyone else standing out in the bar? You said there was a family of three, and oh, well, there's a family of five, three kids. Five. There's mother, father, three kids. Um, there was the five and a half, uh, six foot tall figure who stumbled into the bar wearing a long green cloak, um, and uh, Glass saw that there were two kids who were kind of intrigued by him. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a job postings board behind the bar. I. Uh... All right, Sora goes to the job postings board. Okay. Because, yeah, he doesn't like the fact this guy's a better cloak than him. Or cape. Than him. <laughs> so as Sora goes to the jobs posting board, he's going to see uh, three different job postings. Uh, one of them says, 
Lost mail. Important documents might have been intercepted. The courier I've been expecting has not arrived. Please inquire at the city hall. M A I L, uh, right? What? M A I L, right? Mail. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Not not human mail. <laughs> no. Just just want to make sure. All right. Yes. I mean, it could have been the courier himself. That's true. Right. Exactly. Uh, the second posting says, my family is about to find out about my secret. Good liars and problem solvers in need. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> and then the third one says, lost arrow. While hunting with a bow, my son lost a trophy arrow he was not supposed to use. He was hunting in the mountains north of the city and thinks the arrow went into a cave. Please retrieve the arrow. As an alchemist, I will pay in healing potions. Oh. Ah, so all right, so so I go back to the group and I kind of usher them to the board and I go, Theogratus. Yes. You are a cunning man, no? Oh, I like to think so. So then he like s slings his finger to the board right where the, the liar posting was. Like, this this is something I'd like to see you do. I look at all the many postings and be like, which one? The, you know, the, uh, some man needs someone cunning to lie and, and cheat. And, well, you seem like a man that uh, has done both. It is one of my many skills. <laughs> I am observant. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Let's do it. Why not? The more I can do to spread the news of Theo's greatness, the better. So, so, so Sora peers into the board and can't really make out. Like, he pushes his head straight up to the board, but can't really read where he's supposed to go to find, uh, to find out more information. So he calls, Glass, can you read this? I don't know, can I? <laughs> uh, as Glass takes a look at it, um, it, 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 it does have an address in there in the city. Great. I mean, yeah, it says we just go to this address here. Good. Great. Whatever address. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry, runs to the barkeep. Where is this address? <laughs> so the barkeep is a, uh, an orc man. Mm. And uh, he'll just look at you and he'll just be like, oh, it's it's towards the center of the city it's uh, uh probably about a few blocks west of city hall wonderful lovely thank you you're welcome <laughs> goes goes back to the rest and says exactly that all right then we know where we're going father manny you coming too Yes, I suppose I will. I would prefer that we end our journey as quickly as possible because uh, I like when things end suddenly and abruptly and don't take longer than they need to. But uh, I suppose I'll tag along considering the ways that you men have helped me so far. Well, Theogratus is very cunning and he's very swift indeed. Right? I hope so. I like to think so. <laughs> Many legends have been stolen of those. Uh, Onward! <laughs> so you guys head out. Um, it doesn't take you long. It probably takes you about 10, 15 minutes to get to the address. Um, so it's uh, uh, nothing fancy about the building itself. It uh, appears to be, I mean, as everything else is, it's relatively new. Uh, it's, it's just a small uh, looks like single family home. Um, on the way, can I do a second wind? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, because I realize that also, I'm, I'm well, hurting a lot. You don't have long enough for a short. Rest. Yeah, that's yeah, that's fine. No, I'm just gonna roll that really quickly. Yeah, we're still damaged from our fight with the skeletons, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, so. right <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I would oh, you lovely. <laughs> lovely. It's actually gone. It should be plus two. You should have four. Uh, okay. Me? Yes. Oh, because yeah, because I didn't increase it. Yeah. Level. yeah, that's right. Cool. Oh, okay. Um. So please continue. Okay. So you approach the door. It is closed. Uh, 
Um, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> uh, so as you knock on the door, you hear a voice from inside. Hello. I. You don't sound like man. Uh, that that gives. Uh, I. Do you have son? You have a son. Nope. Just me that lives here. Did you? Uh, did you have a uh, a job posting? Oh, I did. Yes. Yes. Uh, we're here to help. Yes. He's here to help. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the person will open the door. Um, and it is a small uh, gnome. And uh, he's it is it is it is in fact a male just because it has a high voice doesn't mean he is not a male. It's very we've all seen <laughs> Seinfeld. I understand. <laughs> um, it's, oh yes, yes, yes. You guys are here to help. Yes, he is. Okay. You? And I kind of like push Theo a little. Who's like bleeding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys have looked like you've been in quite a predicament. Or well, can we come in and you know talk oh, about yes, what yes, we need and in. and in. take a small uh, rest as we do that? <laughs> would you guys like some tea? Yes, please. Uh, yes. Okay, I'll, I'll make you some tea. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> Great. Can we take so a short he'll, rest? He'll usher you all inside. Uh, I mean, when you count uh, the walk over and this conversation, you guys can take a short rest. Yes. Okay. okay. So what happens when you take a short rest? Do you heal? Um, you can spend your hit die. Uh, so every level you get one extra hit die. Um, per long rest, you only recover half of your maximum hit die. So if you were to spend two, then you'd only recover one um, during your long rest. Uh, so if you see that on the first, uh, like in the character sheet page, mm -hmm. it's underneath. It's like the bottom right corner is hit die. Yeah. You uh, roll okay. Luckily, John, you are full hit points. Okay. You you went unconscious and then <laughs> oh, yeah, that's healed right. you with a uh, potion oh. that healed you back up to full. Yes. Lucky me. Thank you guys. I'm trying to do it, but it's not doing anything. Oh. Try harder. <laughs> um. Hmm. There we go. You have to make sure Nick in the, the, it's not just in the Mac, but there's one in the current as well. Uh, I have. There it is. Mm -hmm. like two. Oh, there you go. I did it. Oh, wonderful! I got one. Um, that's minimum. All well right, done. so I so I got eleven. So yeah, you could spend as many um that you have. Okay. So, so at this point, it just be two. I don't know probably. why you're rolling more. You <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't mean. I did it multiple times. No, no, no. Okay. Ignore that nine. <laughs> uh, so okay, I'm up to. Well, um, they do that. I'm I'm going to expend the other second wind. You only have one second wind. I For know. Short rest, but he For sure, it. short rest. At the end of the short rest, I could theoretically do it. Oh, fair. Okay, at the end of the short rest, you can. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, good. That's fine. Moving on. Yep. <clears throat> so he's going to give you all some tea. Um, and he's going to be like, well... You all have come to help me. So my predicament is, well, I want to go live with the giants. <laughs> and being gnomes and residents of National City, we don't, we don't really like giants. <laughs> and, and what is your name? Uh... My name is Periwinkle. Periwinkle. Yes. And uh, what makes you feel that you are skilled to live with the giants? Well, um, they're they're fearless, and I just admire that, and I just want to learn from them and be like them. I don't like being the short guy picked on. Hmm. Mm. So I need you guys to convince my family that I am not leaving to join giants, but maybe uh, a, a more prestigious reason? 
Um, hmm. Being a Goliath, would Glass have experience with giants? Um, not necessarily experience, but like there is giant culture within your Goliath. Sure. So he's okay. looking for a better reason to join the giants as opposed to. Uh, well, e- either a better, better reason to join the Giants or a better reason for me leaving because they don't want me to leave. And why don't you just pick up and go? Why do you? Why don't? Why you need to convince them? Well, I have no money. That would do it. <laughs> so you need money from your family? Yes, yes. They they would fund the trip. If you have a good reason. Yes. Follow-up question. You have no money. What's in it for us? Well, you can get some of the money that my parents will give me for the funding. I don't need much. I just If I'm only going to live with the Giants, I don't need money once I get there. And how much would that be? Well, I mean, I could... It depends on what they think I'm leaving for. If they if they fund me for, you know, if I if I was going to some night school, they're going to need to continue to pay that tuition, and that's a lot of money. Theo, yes. Do you think that you're up for this challenge? And Father Manny, do you think you can convince the Bambino yeah. to help us in this ruse? Yes, I do. But and... when it's all done, we'll end up with enough. One way or the other. I do believe I have a compelling reason as well. Um, Periwinkle, is your family religious by any chance? Uh, yes, very. Oh, very good, very good. <laughs> I, I have an idea in mind. Perhaps you could come uh, as a missionary for ballism. Room and board is not provided. It must be paid for. What? What is ballism? Ballism is one of the greatest religions known to man. We worship all spherical objects in nature. Our planet, for example, the sun, the moon, the molecules that make up our bodies. It is in all of us. Wow. Well, well, that sounds convincing to me. Hopefully they listen to that. Yes, I do believe they will. You, you you guys go take care of that. And he, uh, you see Sora just kind of relax a lot on the couch and sip his tea. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> where can we find your family? Ah, yes. Um, well, they're probably at home. Um, I, I could take you there, obviously, because it'd be better if I'm there. Um, yeah, well, it, it's not too far. It's probably about 10 minutes from here. Uh, it, we can't miss it. It's this huge house. And what do we, this is out of, to my view, what, is there anything we might know about the giants, per se? That we might know that might help us? In, that they're giants? fierce. Sora knows that they are fierce competitors that have defeated him in the past. Yes. Lots of, like lots of victories in their past and things like that. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know much. I, I, I just know that they are, that they are very brave and 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 they they're not a, they're not afraid because they're not the small ones. I just want to go live with them. Let me tell you, what you know about the giants, they're a little bit different now, a little softer. <laughs> that's not good. I hope that's not true. <laughs> Just, just a little, just, just a little. You know, rumor has it that a shark actually lives with them too now. A shark? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my! Gosh. How does it? How does it go on land? I don't know. I look forward to you telling me all about it. Very wrinkled. Oh, if you guys help me, I'll write you all the time. Please. <laughs> okay. Well, Glass, will you be joining Theo and I on this journey? I don't see why not. All right, and so you're you're just going to lounge about. Yes, and and don't forget to mention the oracle of the giants. That might help along the way. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you for your insight. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, it makes sense that Sora would 
hang out. He seems like the kind of guy who does heavy work every couple of days, anyways. <laughs> 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 yes, once every five days or so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right so, Periwinkle. So please lead the way to your family. Let's okay. get the show on the road. And and please, uh, Mister, which I didn't get any of your names, but can just just don't 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 destroy anything in my house. Is he talking to me? No, he's he's looking at he's Soar, like, who's Soar. staying behind. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you wouldn't mind if I had more tea or anything no, like no, that? No, no, of course. Right? Have some tea. Great, great. <laughs> Let me know how this goes, and don't forget, you know. Um, remember, uh, I'm I'm so happy to have brought you all together. Yes, we're forever indebted to you. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, you guys are going to head out. <laughs> we're going to go about uh, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, you're going to approach a huge mansion. Oh boy. And um, he's just going to walk up to the door and he's like, okay, this is this is mom and dad's. Just uh, be convincing, please. Uh, he's going to knock on the door and a uh, kobold dressed in a butler's outfit is going to open the door. <laughs> Can I help you? Ah, Periwinkle. Uh, I guess you have some friends with you. Come on in. Come on in. So he's going to escort you um, into the living room. Periwinkle's going to ask for his parents. Uh, you're going to see two gnomes dressed in very fine robes. Uh, come and join you in the living room. Question: um, yep. Is this is this mansion like gnome sized? Uh, yeah. So it's a big <laughs> man. Like you guys could fit in it because they do generally have. Like, guests. can I fit in it? Yes, you you can you can barely fit because you're a small Goliath. That's fair. But you can fit. Um, your head is very close to the ceiling, but can whenever I, you guys can you do one of these. <laughs> Whenever you guys sit on any furniture, it is very low to the ground. It is almost like you're sitting on the floor. I will I will just kind of crouch in the corner. <laughs> like, there's, like there's tables at like your knee height. <laughs> Good. Uh, you'll see two gnomes come down dressed in uh, very fine robes. Um, the male gnome We'll look at you all and be like, and what brings you all here today? Uh, we are here to speak on behalf of your son, who has taken a, a recent interest in ballism. I understand you're a, a religious family, is that correct? Very religious, yes. Have you heard of ballism? No, we have not. It's a beautiful religion. It's uh, all about acceptance. Uh, it's it's a, an incredible um, asset to a young man such as your son Periwinkle's growth, and uh, he's in, in he's interested in becoming a missionary for the religion. and And I would like to ask not only for your permission, but for your patronage as he enters our uh, missionary school. Well, let me ask you: Does this have this ballism? you speak of does it have anything to do with giants because he will not shut up about giants no there are no giants allowed in ballism in fact uh my friend here glass has constantly asked to be a part of it he's not even a giant he's a goliath but just because of his proximity and size uh, he's not allowed to be a part of ballism so you have nothing to worry about in terms of giants being involved in any way whatsoever I mean, you should have rolled a deception check. And Glass is just in the corner, like... I... <laughs> While he's doing this, can I kind of, like, start looking around the place? Just, uh, just kind of glancing around to see if there's I guess, things of value. <laughs> uh, yeah, roll a deception check for me. Okay. Natural Correctly. one deception! <laughs> no. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh my lord! So good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even with your eight perception, you see there are most of the furniture in there is very nice. 
Mo- like furniture that they have they have paintings up like it's a very nice home um and they'll look at you and they'll be like what kind they'll look at uh father manny the bit what kind of religion doesn't s- allow a certain race that seems rather oh, no. anti-religious yeah, step in and be like no 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 what he just means is there aren't any currently in the, the religion trust me no we never exclude anyone um, roll deception with advantage because you're getting help from Father Manny. <laughs> <laughs> help. Okay. 17, nice. Ah, uh, oh, oh, okay. Well, well, that is much better. We want to keep him out of this giant thing. Um, and, uh, can you tell me more about this ballism? If I may ask briefly, what is your... What do you hold against the Giants? Well, right now, um, we currently worship the different gods, but uh, mainly we are worshipping the goddess Joaquin for good fortune and trade, and it has obviously helped us dearly. So we value a sort of give and take where you put in a little worship and you get a lot of reward in return. Joaquin? <laughs> it's, it's an actual D&D god, okay? So don't oh, know. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Okay, all right. I didn't know if it was um, walking or something like that. No, no. <laughs> and at this point, Glass will speak up, kind of, again, kind of behind everyone, and he'll say... Well, it's obvious that uh, you've been very successful. You must be devout worshippers, as your home is lovely. And may I just say, my and I, he sets his hand on um, on Father Manny's shoulder. Um, my compatriots here, we are happy to be welcomed into your home, and uh, glad that you're at least able to hear us out and. Hear what we have to say on behalf of your son. And as I, as I set my hand on Father Manny's shoulder, I'll cast guidance. Okay. Um, so he'll be able to, uh, on his next ability check, he'll be able to add a D four. Ooh. Yes, thank you, my child. I'm sorry for the uh, words that I said earlier about not being allowed to join our religion. You, you're a good friend and an ally to the to the faith, even though you're not allowed to worship, or you or you're not yet a part of the religion. Of course. Um, so, uh, Mister and Missus Periwinkle, uh, what <laughs> what say you to uh, having your son join us? Can, can you just tell us more about Baldism? I just yes. want to make sure that he's, he's been waiting this. all day for someone to say those words. <laughs> well, it's a very spiritual religion. Uh, it's not incompatible with your worship of Joaquin, um, but essentially, uh, the catchphrase for Ballism is "What goes around comes around." Oh my around. God! And it is a, a religion of of <laughs> karma in a way, a, a balancing. If you are good to others, you it will return to you the same way a, a ball is circular. So, in many ways, it's a, it's an incredible religion. It will it will create a much more well rounded individual in your son. I think it will benefit him greatly. Did you just say well rounded? He did. Yes. Roll a persuasion check. Wow. Wow. Uh, with advantage because they're all helping you. Yes. Oh. Uh, you could add your D4 if you want, even though you got a nat 20. No no Damn. need for the nat 20. Yeah. You can Ooh. save it. Um, well, that sounds very interesting. Ah, uh, and much better than the life he's living here. How uh, uh, does this... Uh, I'm assuming he's here because he needs some sort of... I guess entry fee or living fee, uh, and how much would it, would this ballism cost? Um, 
Well, it's not a cheap religion, and, and very few people are invited. Uh, my friend Theo here is one of the top disciples. How much? How much do you pay in fees every uh, every week, Theo, in order to be a part of our religion? Uh, my uh, something around uh, twenty gold. Yeah, definitely twenty gold. Yeah, totally. That's exactly what I pay. Yeah, every week. Yeah, yeah, for sure, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Tw Twenty gold a week. No, that's just for the bedding. For wow. for for meals, it's it's actually significantly more. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. Oh, just no. just uh uh, and how long it does this uh, I guess uh, I don't want to say a trial phase, but you know the introductory phase last. Well, it takes many, many years before you can truly consider yourself embraced by the religion. So it's hard to say, really, but I would say at least six months to a year for him to truly become indoctrinated. I see, I see. Um, and it is a weekly payment, and do we pay it to the Church of Ballism? Oh, no, you can actually make the payment uh, directly to myself. Uh, I'm, I'm one of the high priests of Baalism. I was born into the faith, so there's no need to worry about uh, trust in this transaction. I understand but how this sounds, I'm, but he really is a high priest. I'm, I'm, just, I, I'm just concerned, like, are you, will you stay in National City? How do I pay the weekly amounts? Uh, you can send it by carrier pigeon. <laughs> Carry it. And where would I send it? Uh, look for the smoke signals. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> my my friend Glass here also has some chalk that I believe he can use that the carrier pigeon can see from above. <laughs> what? <laughs> and know where to drop off the pavements. I'm just concerned how do i get my money to you i am all on board for this just how do i pay alternatively if the carrier pigeon is not ideal which i absolutely could see why it might not be um we we will be working with your son uh so if if need be you could just give your son the funds and he would be able to disseminate them to us. As of course, he will have other needs, be it uh, occasional outings or things along those lines. A per diem, he says. Give me one second, guys. <laughs> Smoke signals <laughs> or chalk. How, how else do you alert a carrier pigeon? You, you tell it where to go. Can, can you guys give me? Can you guys give me uh, a rough estimate of what the weekly expenses would be? Uh, I would say at I least. Can't see you, sore. You're not there. I know. I know. I'm just, I'm just dancing while at this home right now. Well, at, at least two hundred oh per God. week. But you said. Bedding itself was only twenty. Yes, the bedding is is cheap. It, it's uh, the land we've owned for years. We don't pay anything for the rooms and the property. It's the food that's very difficult to obtain because we only eat round and spherical objects, which are not easy to import. <laughs> <laughs> Roll another Ama persuasion check. Amazing! With Amazing! Amazing. Twenty-one. Hey. Oh my god! Oh god. Nine, <laughs> not nineteen. Oh, wow. I'm very persuasive. <laughs> Super. <laughs> he came up with the round objects for the food. Mike's doing some math real quick. <laughs> I am. I'm trying this. Like this is amazing. I mean, it's once per week, right? Oh. Well, Split four ways. Yeah. It's worth noting that, you know, one tenet of Ballism, as my speech to Father Manny, is that when it comes to housing and things being provided for, we often look for the others outside of the religion to help provide for the uh, housing and whatnot. So this is a big part of that, you know. 
say that. Yes, well said. Oh, okay. the, uh, what if I say. gave? Because Periwinkle is never one to just stick to a decision. What if I gave you uh, a half a year's expenses? Now nah, we'll give him as half a year's expenses. Plus, you said there might be a little more. So, what would say around uh, fifty five hundred? Oh, that that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> Very generous. <laughs> Much appreciated. Yeah. I'll be right back. Well, he'll just look over to the kobold butler. He'll walk off um, and come back with a huge sack of gold. Ah, yes. Um. Well, please, please. Take care of him and uh, try to get this giant stuff out of his head and put him on a smart path. Oh, we will. We will. He's in good hands. Blast takes the sack of gold. <laughs> Just slings it over his back. <laughs> okay, well, we must begin our teachings immediately, so uh, there's no no need to tarry. Let's, uh, let's... Thank you, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Periwinkle, for your time. Thank you, thank you. Your son's in good hands. Uh, so the butler will lead you back to the door, lead you out, and Periwinkle's just, thank you so much. That was amazing. Um, I could finally go see the giants. Um, if I could just take 500 of that gold and be off, that's it. Yeah, no problem. Here you go, kid. <laughs> what? What? So you guys now have five thousand gold. <laughs> do you? I uh, do you come back to Periwinkle's house? Yeah, Periwinkle's gonna come back, and I'm assuming you guys are following him. Yeah. Uh, he's, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 quick question. Um, can I do a perception check just kind of of, like, his room? Yeah. Um, just to kind of see what's there to entertain me. 14? That should not have gone that well. Uh, yeah, so what you see is... Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very small house. There's a living room, a kitchen, a study, and a bedroom. Okay. Um, um, do I see any fruit? Uh, you do see some fruit. Yeah, actually, he has a lot of fruit because he likes cool. to eat fruit. But so, so they come back. They see uh, Sore just lounging still on the couch, but now with the giant or a big apple. Okay. <laughs> going straight at. It's okay because it took me a second. The <laughs> Lagany tribe in ancient times used to worship. The apple so okay. yes the, the big <laughs> apple yeah oh yes. my god it would, it would they would say actually um when they were lucky at times the the large apple would appear yeah one only good, to one disappear good right good only to disappear shortly after Nick, yeah. do you just spend all of the time that you're sitting just coming up with new puns puns what are you talking about <laughs> i have no idea never mind uh yeah so yep you could be eating an apple uh yeah and you so, guys can come back. Cool. So Sora takes a giant chunk. But sorry, right, how'd that go? Uh, good. Uh, real good. Real, real, real good. Yeah. Well, how good are we talking, guys? <laughs> well, uh, Holding a giant sack of money. Real, real good. <laughs> that, that's very good. That, that's, that's very, very good. Very good. Uh, who do I have to thank for this? Looking at Theo. Well, Glass yeah. points at Manny. Father Manny. Yes, yes. Yes. Lord Doubleday <laughs> smiles upon us with his good luck that he has blessed us with. Oh man. And any a yes, a curtsy. So how much how much is it in total? Five thousand gold. Um and I yes, so so obviously Sora believes you. Uh, I appreciate you guys very much for being honest that it is 5,000. <laughs> we got 100 gold. Um, spread it out evenly amongst all of us as if we took this new revenue and shared it amongst us in a certain manner. You know, that's go. Can I do yeah. a 
a very quick history check to for how much that hammer of the of thunder was <laughs> of thunderbolts. Oh. I should have written it down. Um, yeah, I probably should have too. Can I do that, Mike? Uh, yeah. Just gonna seven. Give look it back up. Okay, never mind. You don't know, but <laughs> roughly though, it it's like it was what, like six thousand or so. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. I'll let you know real soon. Okay. I, that's my journey right now is just to get that. But man, we get. Uh, what'd you say? Six thousand? Yeah. Yeah. No, you're not even close. Sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. Oh, that's annoying. Ooh. Okay. That's a good start anyway. You know, we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Um I, I give I give one hundred of my gold to to Father Manny. Cause he clearly because it sounds like he did the work and I just sat and had an apple. <laughs> <laughs> so if we Thank split you. it so evenly, generous. then it would end up with Yeah, 1250 for everybody. Yeah. Nice. Good. But Manny gets 1350. Good, 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 good. <laughs> oh man, this is great. Uh what what we should do more things. <laughs> <laughs> what, what time is it now? Uh so that probably took after your short rest and everything. Uh walk in there, probably about two hours. So it's around six. Okay, so the sun's starting to go down at this point. Yeah. It might be time to head back to the inn and uh Get a room and, you know, actually read the books that we acquired. Oh, yes. Right. <laughs> books. Who reads? Uh. I think I can read. I don't think I can read. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's head on back to the inn, see if we can grab a couple rooms. So was there like a, an innkeeper that we passed before that we didn't say hi to? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and who might, might that be? So... I'll just give you a better layout of the uh, in itself. So as you walk in, um, like to the right is, well, straight back and to the right, everything that you look at is was the tavern. And then to the left is a small door with a desk where that's where the rooms are. And there's an innkeeper right there. Hmm. All right. So, so, we, so step in and we see the innkeeper. What are we looking at? Uh, you were looking at a half elf female. Okay. Uh, she's, um, I mean, so she's a half elf, so she ages differently, but she's uh, what would look like a middle aged human. Uh, Source steps forward. Four of your best rooms, please. Four rooms? You need four? Uh, okay, that is the best rooms we are yes. doing for five silver each. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Oh no, it's I lose my silver. No, it's half a gold. <laughs> uh, and is there any special? Is there, and do you have any room in particular that is just far and away the very best room here? Um, not not really. What I give you is i mean we have the so the five gold rooms are the larger rooms but that are equipped with um they have their they have a, their bed they have a, a a closet and they have a safe in there as well ah lovely thank you um shall we all venture to one of our rooms and read this book let's do it yes <laughs> i can't wait father manny lead the way all right so Father Manny leads the way to his room, and they all gather around and open their the books. Okay. Uh, Sora book lays first? down on the couch on the on the bed. <laughs> um, we'll start. I've got books, I believe. Yes. So I'll I'll pull out the one that was specifically on the Ring of Champions. Okay. Mm. Uh, so as you pull out the Ring of Cha the book on the Ring of Champions, uh, you take a look at it. And you begin to realize that uh, you have no idea what this says. It's not a language that I know, huh? Correct. I'll pass it around and say, I'm uh, going to be honest, guys. I, I got nothing here. Anyone, anyone speak whatever this is? 
D does anyone know what the language is? Uh, let me just. What languages do you all know? I I imagine no. I just know human, common human, elfish, and celestial. Common and giant. I might I might recognize things as something, but I don't read it because I battled and gone around and done stuff. Yeah, I think it's just common for me. Sadly. Yeah. So uh, we have common. Common, elvish, celestial, and giant sounds like are the only ones we have. Okay. Uh, so none of you recognize <laughs> that language. This is going to be tricky. Is there a university or anything uh, around? There's a library. We can go back to the library. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. oh, well, well, let's, I believe I grabbed two other books on other artifacts. Um, could I pull out those? Yeah, just give me a Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so as you pull out those books, again, um, they are languages you do not know. Shucks. Okay. <laughs> well, that's a bust. Uh, although, looking at them, you realize that all three are in different languages. Mm. Do any of them look like they're Dwarvish script? Because giant... It, uh, re uh, script is based on Dwarvish script. Uh, I don't believe so, but let me check. This one is not. This one is not. Nope, none of them are Dwarvish. Awesome. <laughs> Do you? Um, so, 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 is throwing up his apple because he's, he's still got an apple he's working on. Um, and he's thinking, you think anyone downstairs would know? Where would you make friends? Right? With the uh, Bambino gentleman. Ah, uh, yes, Bambino. He's it... uh, great in battle. Perhaps he uh, is also of sharp mind. With the great cloak. I want yeah. <laughs> Cape, sorry. Cape. So I'll go downstairs. Is, is Bambino still there? Uh, roll a uh, perception check. Okay. Oh, don't collapse, he's gone. He's out of here. It would surprise me if he still has been a couple hours. She sounds uh, young to get boozy. <laughs> Seven. Uh, you do not see him. <laughs> um, Sor goes to the York, uh, the York barkeep. Okay. Um, what is your name? Uh, my name's Gunter. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Mike. You're the best. <laughs> That's that's from my campaign with Mike. Uh, <laughs> um, Gunter. Oh, yes, legends of your skills. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking of someone else. Now, do you... Uh, we are trying to translate books. Uh, do you know... You might know this city very well. Do you know where uh, we'd find someone that would be well-versed in all the languages of the land? Um, well... I don't really, I mean, there's the library, if you could find something there. Uh, otherwise, there is one other person. Uh, he goes by the name Mad Max. Uh, <laughs> he is, uh, yes! an, he, he's an elf warlock. Uh, he, he, uh, he's, usually, he, he's usually pretty good with his uh, knowledge of the arcane and other things. And where will I find this Mad Max? Ah, yes, he has a house just on the northern outskirts of the city. Wonderful. Hopefully I'll see eye to eye with this man. And uh, for your trouble, I, I pass him a silver. Oh, thank you so much. You know, for your troubles. <laughs> um, do you, uh, this is like, what, 8 o'clock now or something? Or like 7 or whatever? Uh, probably 7. Okay. So, Gunter, you think this is... Too late to bother," said Matt. I mean, he is mad. He might be, you know. Sounds like he might actually uh, have different hours. I, than us. He has very uh, varied hours. Um, I do not know 
when would be a good time to see him. I All I know is that people go to see him from time to time. And it's just up the block, you said, right? Just up the street? Just up no, the no, road. it's just out on the outskirts of the city. Ah, uh, I see. So what? An hour or two walk from here? Uh, 45 minutes to an hour, yeah. 45 minutes. Oh, you have been fantastic, Gunter. Love the name. Love this place, what you've done with it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I relay this to the group. Yeah, someone named Mad Max, arcane stuff, and people visit him, should know things. Warlock. I say we head out. Uh, Lord knows you've had enough rest for the night, so <laughs> it should be good for the journey. I will He's see, you know. Around, so. <laughs> you, keep moving, Theo moving. you didn't know all the adventures I had while you did whatever at Periwinkle's. Yes, the apple looked like a lot of work to eat. <laughs> it took so long to find the perfect spherical one, as you suggested. Oh, I'm uh, yes, I'm very familiar <laughs> with our prime dining options. Um, well, would you like to visit him now, or or wait for the night? Seems I'm all for it. To head over. Onward. <laughs> Sorry. Onward! Good. So, you guys head out. Uh, takes you about 50 minutes to get there. Um, right on the outskirts of the city, you see a very strange-looking house. It looks like it's a cross between um, like abandoned and falling apart and also magical as well it's just mm. very strange neat sword goes straight up to the door thud 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 Perfect. um <laughs> very direct <laughs> there is no answer but you can hear something going on inside I could walk around the hut mm. kind of looking to sure. see if there's any other exits any other anything like that uh roll a Perception check for me. Are there any windows or anything? Uh, there are two windows at the near the front door. Are oh, they have different colors? No. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, it's a nine. So as you're walking work. around, you don't. I mean, you see that there are other windows and there is a back door, but that's all you can tell. Okay. So I, uh, so sword bangs again. Uh, as as he bangs, he hear you hear a um. Uh, the sound of a small. I don't want to say explosion, but like a like that kind of sound. Mm, a bang of. Something. Yeah, like a like a small pop. Hello, uh, Mister Mad Max. We would like a word, please. We come in peace. We need you. Thud, thud, thud. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Uh, the popping and arcane sounds you hear are going to stop. Um, the door is going to open. And uh, the elf warlock is standing there. Can I help you? Um, Sora is distracted, be um, darting between each eye uh, of said elf warlock. What is your eyes? <laughs> or you can't just ask someone, what is their eyes? What kind of weird question is that? <laughs> um, I'm assuming you're here for another reason than ask me about my eyes. Glass yes. will just push him sorry, aside. Sorry. Glass, and, glass, please. Uh, Yes, sir. We, uh, we've we recently come across some books that we believe hold uh, some arcane knowledge, but unfortunately, none of us are able to read them. They each appear to be in a different language, and we were told that you are a master of the arcane and might be able to help us translate. Ah, ah let, me, let me take a look. Uh, come on in, come on in. Uh, so as you walk in to the house... Um, now you know why he's called Mad Max. Um, there are what looks like unfinished potions being brewed in one corner. 
There are destroyed furniture in another corner. It, it just looks like he's been experimenting with all sorts of magic in this place. Can I do a perception check for any large felines? Like a tiger, uh, for example, that he might have had from years past. Um, I'm going to do that. Yeah. Sure. It's a four. <laughs> Man, you're really uh, going for that one. Yeah, I, I guess he doesn't see any tigers or, or any signs of tigers. Perhaps there's some mm, snakes. Yeah, maybe um, some snakes. He, you do see. Um, you don't necessarily see animals themselves, but you do see. Uh, I guess traces of the fact that animals were there. Mm. How long have you been in National City? Uh, weird that you're very concerned with my personal life, but <laughs> not very long at all. Mm. Yes, like us. So, um, yes, but uh, please take a seat and I'll look at these books. The books, yes, here. Glasses <laughs> <laughs> again, kind of, just kind of gonna push the sword to the side and Weird be like, people just I don't know what it. is wrong with yeah. you today. Sword's so looking for tigers, sword is a map, apparently. <laughs> so, he'll pick up the um, <clears throat> bat of the slugger book and he'll be like, Ah, yes, yes, this one is very familiar. This this here is in Infernal. It is the language of the devils, if you do not do not know that. Yes. Um, I actually am pretty good at Infernal. Uh, Gla this Glass. next one here. Glass, weren't you studying of the devils? Uh, here and there. It's been a, uh, a bit of a fascination. Mm. Please continue, Mr. Mad Max. Uh, the next one, uh, he'll pick up the crown of the pendant. Um, he'll pick it. He'll ah uh, ah uh, this one here. Uh, this one is in draconic. Yes, yes. Uh, language of the dragons. Um, I do not know it myself, but I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who do. Do you know anyone and, who knows it? Um, I do not. It's. When you come to um, be as, let's just say, as um, gifted as I am, you tend to alienate yourself. I understand this. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one, the Reign of the Champions. Um, ah, this this is in uh, deep speech. Wow. Okay. Do you know Again, it? Again, do not know it, but... Uh, I could tell you deep speech, though. Um, it is uh, the language of uh, I don't know if you know what aberrations are, but them. Um, it is there are some older civilizations whose whose elders may still know it um and there's also um there's also a uh many wizards who would study who study it as well who um if you go to magic city they probably you might find a wizard there well we can how far is that uh, Magic City is about, uh, it's just up the road, right? Yeah, we, we don't actually have a map, do we? No, you don't. Yeah. Uh, it is about <laughs> a week's travel if you travel by horseback or cart. Or tiger. Um, or, yes. Or tiger. <laughs> or giant snake. Do you have a tiger to give us? I do not know. No, no. Uh, I used to have tigers in my past, but that I is knew it. that 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 is a different life. Mm. Fantastic. Well, could you 
since you are able to read the Infernal, could you tell us a bit about the Bat of the Slugger? Ah, well, well, it appears to be, oh, I'm just going to skim it real fast. It appears to be uh, an ancient weapon that was used to, well, interestingly, it was used by the uh, devils and demons to slay celestial beings. Does it say where we can find it? Um, in this quick skim, I cannot tell you. If you want to leave it with me and want me to decipher it, I could do that for you. I do remember the giants wanted a weapon just like this about 20 years ago, but they never got their hands on it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> ah, well, well, that's... Not knowledge I do I possess. <laughs> <laughs> well, the book does us no good as none of us can read it. So we'd be happy to leave it with you. Uh, I, it seems that we might be bound for Magic City. So if you are able to decipher and give us more information, I, I think we'd be very interested in hearing about it. So you, you could send word to us in Magic City, perhaps. Yes, yes, I will. Uh, I'll see if I could even get you a deciphered copy of magic city that would be much appreciated thank you very much i see you're working on uh, quite a few potions here is there anything uh, experimental or interesting that uh, you'd like to share perhaps with us oh yes um well what kind of well let's see i have things that how experimental are you trying to be um I would like something to make me stronger. To make you stronger. Make you str I may have something of of that that I'm working on. Al although I cannot promise anything. These have not been tested. <laughs> well, I'm I'm quite interested. What what do you have for offer and, and how much are you charging? Well. I have the Potion of superior arms. Supposedly, it would give you quite a lot of strength in your arms. Is that right? Yes. yes. Would it do anything to this arm? That looks like it has been done through a magical curse. But it might. Hopefully. <laughs> You're it... a wizard, right? No, I, I am not a wizard, no. You're a warlock. Yes, I. Do you know? I have made do you know Thomas John? I uh, oh, uh, uh, Thomas John, Thomas John. Uh, I do not know, but, but. <laughs> Can you cure this? Um, I cannot. No, no, I do not possess the proper arcane ability to cure that. But would they maybe in Magic City? I certainly would think so. What should I ask for in Magic City? Um, just tell them that you were cursed by I don't know what, but whatever. Thomas John. <laughs> if 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 a wizard cursed you, it may be hard to break that curse, but Magic City would be the place to go. Sor, meanwhile, has been on the couch inside of this area, relaxing, and then he points his hammer straight at at Men Max. Good idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, if Saw doesn't want the potion for giant uh, strong arms, I, I'll take it. It's okay. Take it, please. I have Warthin. If you could, when you eventually use it, just let me know if it works. Yes, absolutely. Okay. How much for this potion? Um, it's experimental. I'll, I'll only charge you 50 gold for it. I'll take it. So, Father Manny will give you the gold for the experimental arm potion. It's just money bags, you know. You know? Oh, boy. <laughs> experimental potions always burning, go well. Burning a hole in my pocket. Go so, so well. Could he have gotten that for nothing? Um, what do you mean? Like, I feel like you're just going to give it to him. No. Okay. 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 After <laughs> I just gave you guys a lot of Fair gold. enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Very good point. 
<laughs> All right. Well, to mag- uh, hmm. Magic City tomorrow first Arrow and other thing on job board. Or have you have you been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> is that what you were doing while the rest of us were working? <laughs> what? No, never, never. Right. Well, on the job, of course right. not. Well, well, thank you, uh, Mr. Mad. Um, much appreciated. Uh, we we hope to hear from you very soon with uh, the transcribed version of the book we've left with you, and uh, we wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Um, glad to help, and I. I do hope to hear that this potion works. Yes, me as well. I'm always hungry for more power. You should try it now. No, do not. Is, <laughs> nope. Not now. Nope, nope. Bad idea. Probably and not this, a good idea. If this potion causes him to spontaneously combust, I do not want to destroy my house any further. <laughs> Reasonable. Take a cautious step further away from Father Man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and... Uh, Head on back to the inn, I think, at this point. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you guys head back to the inn. Um, it's less crowded now. Um, the um, atmosphere is a little a little seedier. Uh, you do see a different crowd of people. Um, in one corner, there are people who are appear to be... Uh, bedding of some kind uh the family the family of five is still there in the corner sitting at a table um and yeah sword goes to the family of five okay hi (laughs) um one of the kids will look up at you and say why are you dressed so funny uh because i am good at what i do why? Because I am dope. Why? And I give he gives a shrug, sore. Why? Are you dope? Are you dope? Why? <laughs> Good question. I, I go to the, to the the parents. I say, you have been here all day. Are you okay? I mean, no. Our house has burned down in some mysterious fire um so the inn has been uh very kind to let us stay here so until we can find a new one that is very terrible news mysterious fire yes how mysterious uh we do not know what started it uh but it burns and burns that's that's what fire does yes like joe dimaggio and uh (laughs) <laughs> who? <laughs> who is this? Uh, wait. Uh, well, did you start the fire? Oh my god. No, we didn't start the fire. <coughs> I believe it was always burning. Yes. It was. Yes. And he will tell you as the world is turning. <laughs> I what would why would a, would fire erupt? Did you anger people? Uh not that we are aware of, no. Uh uh, is there anything that we can do to help? Uh, I mean, if you have a house, but I mean, we just we we've just been living off the kindness of people. If you have anything to spare to help us on our way, that's it. But we I might have a house for you. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> okay. Um. So, quick question. Um. Periwinkle left, right? Um. Well, he didn't leave yet, but he's preparing to leave. He's at home? Okay, so he's at home right now? Yes. So I I, I say, come with me! Okay. (laughs) And I nod (laughs) to the party, like, come! Where where are we going? What? Periwinkle! Who are these? uh, What? what? (laughs) Periwinkle! And I... Glass will turn to Father Manny and Theo and be like, he's definitely been drinking. (laughs) (laughs) So you make your way to Periwinkle's house. (laughs) Like, bang, bang, bang. Again. Periwinkle. Yes, 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 yes. When are you leaving, Periwinkle? Um, I plan to leave tomorrow morning. 
fantastic. And I, I, I introduced family. So this is a family. Their house is burned down. Oh, no, that is terrible. You're not using house. Uh, what was that house? <laughs> <laughs> this is family. You know use house. <laughs> can, can family stay at your house and make it look nice? You make it look nice, right? Um, uh, 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 it's... <laughs> For all persuasion. <laughs> While he all does right. that, can I roll an insight check on Sore to see if he's like having a stroke? <laughs> uh, I, I'm doing it. It's just taking a moment. Uh, and I'll, I'll hit it twice more. I'll only take the first one. Mm -hmm. If there are multiple. Roll 20 just being a little slow. There we go. Uh, 19. Well, I I guess I'm not using the house. Um, I if you all feel comfortable here, yeah, you could take it. I don't plan to return, so plus it'll be a it'll, it'll be a great way to stick it to my parents, knowing that the house that they bought me is going to some family that doesn't have to pay for anything. Wonderful, wonderful family. What is your name? <laughs> Collectively, what is your Yes, name. what is this family name? Uh, one big name. We're the... And also, what is your eyes? John... <laughs> we're, the... we're the Johnson family. The Johnsons. Um... Oh, Walter, is that you? No. Oh. Oh, what? Okay. Randy? <laughs> no. Well, great. Uh... <laughs> I uh, enjoy Johnson family. I only have one request. Yes. If you, uh, it, when we come back into town, that you will make sure there is a, at least a lovely apple for me and whatever my, my friends need, you will make sure they're taken care of. Yes. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. I, 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 can we give you something else? Like, this is amazing. Sh oh, sh sure. What were you thinking? Amazing. Uh, maybe. Just to see, it's curiosity, if you don't know why your house burned down before, is there any concern that whatever burned down before might try to do it again? Um, I don't know. I, I hope not. <laughs> there wasn't, but now there is. <laughs> where is where is your burned down house? Uh, it, it's uh, it's 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 on the the the, the southern southern shore of the city. Does Periwinkle hear us talking about how their last house burned down? <laughs> yes, but Periwinkle doesn't care. What's going on? Periwinkle does not care. Also, I rolled an eight on insight check of Soar. Yeah, you have no idea what's going on with him. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, like, uh, I don't know. We we have we have like, I mean. We, no we could spare money? maybe like a couple gold. That's all we really have. Keep your gold. We'll take a look at your house. O okay. Thank you. Stay here for as long as you like. <laughs> Thank you so much. The yes. three little kids are going to run over and give you a hug. Mm. The store also has a side job as a realtor. <laughs> 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 right uh, and does one like hide behind the cape? As a, uh, like, not know? hide behind the cape, but it is like taking it and like mm. playing with it, waving. With yes. It. Um, I go to little kids like, make sure you get the cape from Bambino for me, okay? <laughs> Steal Bambino. <laughs> oh, I would love next when I return. I want to. I would like a cape like Bambino's. You just see, the kid just eyes widen and nod its head yes. <laughs> good, good. Father, Father Manny leans down and says, "Remember, children." All this good fortune came your way thanks to ballism. Look it up. Uh, what a um, session. So, so, so it turns to the other three. We look at we look at the house tomorrow, right? Uh, we, we will look at the house tomorrow for Magic City tomorrow. Well, yeah, can we? There's we can do that. There's the 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 archer thing, the arrow. There's something else. There's the we, the things to do. No time. Lots of time, rather. Lots of time. It's like 10.30 at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's late. Yeah, okay. We should go. Yeah. Glass is going back to the place and going to sleep. Mm. 
yes, Glass yes. is sleepy. Sora goes as well. Yeah, Father Manny heads back to relax. Okay, you all go back to the inn. <laughs> you get your long rest, finally. Yes. It's been a bit, you know? Full health nope. and I only get half one your hit, hit dice yeah. back. Yeah. All right. So a whopping one. What? <laughs> cool, cool, cool. No doubt, no doubt. All spell slots are reset. And second wind is back. Second wind is back. Everything is reset. Awesome. Okay. Good, good, good. You guys wake up in the morning feeling nice and refreshed. Um, Thor is just standing when they, you know, he goes downstairs and goes straight for the the board. Okay. And just stands in front of it waiting for the rest of them. (laughs) Okay. So Father Manny shows up. He's also interested in uh, what else there is to do. Although he is feeling quite impatient and would like to uh, get the show on the road. (laughs) Or that others might lose interest. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, exactly. Um, yeah, so I mean, as I come down and I see glass, I kind of make some like and point at Sol- Sor. <laughs> glass, le- not trying to be subtle at all. Just nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll sit down, grab grab a little bit of breakfast, and <laughs> talk with the rest of everyone on what we want to do. Mm. Um. So, what was the top one again? It was uh, lost mail. Important documents might have been intercepted. The cur- the courier I've been expecting has not arrived. Please inquire at the city hall. Interesting. So, Sor is waiting for someone. Does someone come up to the board with him, or are they all just avoiding him? I'll walk over with you. Um, Gratis. Yeah, I'll walk over. Okay. Uh, he uh, he he points to them. Says. Which one do you like? You know, there might be some value in recovering the lost arrow. It seems like that was of great value. We usually uh, get us some more information if we were to try and complete this quest. That's the one. And that one for even health potions, correct? Yes, or potions, or also. actually, it was health potions, right? Yeah. What did it say? It yeah, healing potions. Okay. Um, at, on our journey. as Gratis goes, says all this, um, Gunter is there, right? Gunter is there. Says, Gunter, do you have an apple? Um, uh, I can get one. Yeah. Please, please. And throw it right over here. One silver. He, you know, he, he chucks it, you know, up in the air at Gunter. And Gunter will toss you the apple. Sweet. Uh, do I have to do a dexterity check or something to catch it? Um, I don't know. It's a pretty simple toss. All right, there you go. Good. Yeah, okay. All right, he catches it, takes a big bite. Says, we will get the arrow. <laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. So so then um, he, he has the apple, throws it as high as he can. As he does, he takes out the uh, uh, Warthen's hammer, goes onward, and then puts back the hammer in time to catch the apple. <laughs> Great. It's very okay, I'm gonna need. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Uh, 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 <laughs> you went too far. <laughs> um, I don't know. Dex. Acrobatics check on that. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you could do it. Nice, nice. I'm very happy with this. <laughs> well done. Gotta take out my silver, of course. All right. So, where did it say to go? Uh, so there is uh, another address on there, um, but uh, it also has a description of the arrow. It is a golden arrow, and it tells you that the the boy was hunting uh, in the mountains north of the city. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Uh, so you, yeah, so we go to the address. Is everyone coming? 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do we arrive at the at the address? Is yep. like a house. So you get yep. So, it's a, <laughs> what? Sword goes to the door. Bang, bang, bang. Um, the door will open, and it is a human male. Yes. Uh, did you lose an arrow? Yes, yes. You saw my ad. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's it. I won it in a archery contest years and years ago, and my son thought it'd be a great idea to go hunting with it. I see. Did you I find see. it? No. No. Can you help oh. us find it? Yeah, like well, any... that's what the ad is for. But I have to find <laughs> Do you it have myself. Any more information to help us find it? So he was yes. hunted in the mountains north, uh, just Smart. off, just Smart. off the road, the main road. Um, he did not go far. It's uh, probably about. Uh, he he was no more than a day's travel away. Is your son here? May we speak with him? Um, he, yes, yes. Hold on. Uh, so he'll go get his son. Um, it's a little 13-year-old boy. Oh, jeez. Yes? I understand you've been hunting recently, yes? Y- yes. Well, I tried. How'd that go for you? Um, things move fast out there. Life moves fast. <laughs> any um, so. any dangers in that area we should be aware of, or you know, anything? Well, I mean, it's mountains, but I didn't really see anything. I did. I I'm pretty sure that the arrow went into a cave, and I don't go in caves because you don't know what's gonna be in caves. So, I I, I didn't get it's it should it's sh- it's not far off the road, because I didn't want to go too far. Because that's dangerous too. Could you lead us to the point in the road where you went? Uh, I can. I, I can draw you a map. I'm real. Like, I, my dad's mad at me. I really shouldn't go anywhere. I assume the father is also standing right there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I could. I mean, I could draw you a map of where it is. That that would be wonderful. Okay. So he's, he'll he'll walk away for a bit draw you a map um it's it's a little crude but you could pretty much decipher what he's talking about okay and i asked the father as well so a golden arrow is there anything else particularly special about this arrow is it any kind of magic of sorts or why why are you so interested in it's having it returned it's a prized possession it's a i i want it and it's, it's like a trophy understandable i don't know what trophies are i have i've yet to succeed (laughs) but uh, i've won many but not enough to earn a trophy yikes (laughs) all right but go get an arrow yeah well uh, i should hope you all find it should we get a should we get a larger map of national city and maybe of the full land to help us find this I could see where that would be useful. Sure. Is there like an adventure shop or something along the way? Uh, there is a general store that would have. Uh, Onward! <laughs> <laughs> Do the general store. Mm. Uh, just to bang, bang, bang. <laughs> just to the the door. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's an open door. It's he still bangs locked. on the door. Why? Um, <laughs> Uh, a, a map a map is gonna cost uh eight silver of the entire um world mm. the entire mm-hmm. empire and then if you just want one of national city that's that's gonna cost two silver okay so Sora will d- get both okay but I but he also will say ev- you should get one too yeah I I will also be purchasing both okay so okay do. yes likewise so we all have maps now. How much are they? Okay. It'd be one gold total. Yeah, yeah one, one gold. gold total. Man, that's putting a dent. <laughs> oh. Yeah, how are we like taking it out? Like, oh yeah, one gold. <laughs> <laughs> <Ding>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 
Um, good, good, good. I. Uh, so shall we? Onward. Yes. Onward. <laughs> Fantastic. So you guys head out. You follow the crudely drawn map. To. Um, oh, are you traveling on foot? Oh right, it's a day out, right? Is that was that on foot or by uh, the Cower Serdome? Uh, he was a day out by horseback. Yeah, we should. Uh, Ooh, let's find some horses. Smart glass. Smart glass. I do what I can. Uh, are we still at the shopkeepers? Uh, the general store does not have horses. Yeah. Who is uh, who is the shopkeeper? Uh, the shopkeeper is... What is your name? Hi. <laughs> uh, my name is Franklin. Hi, Franklin. Do you know where horses are? Uh, I would check the stables. Smart, Franklin. Smart, Franklin. <laughs> My uh, God. As he turns you... away, he's just going to be like, duh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's go to the stables. Yeah, we're on the now. <laughs> <laughs> so using your map, you hmm. easily find the stables. OK. Um, there is a, uh, halfling man there who is running the stables. Excuse Hi. me, sir. <laughs> no, oh, yes, morning. Good morning, yes, yes. Yes, how, much for, how much for four horses for each four of me horses. and my friends? Four horses. Well, what, what kind of horse are you looking for? Oh, the fastest horse possible. I want to arrive in the shortest time. Fastest horse, fastest horse. Uh, yes, well, I could give you um, one horse for 75 gold, so four would be uh, 300. Could you do 250? I, I I could. I wouldn't be in business. Roll, roll, switch. <laughs> <laughs> Brutal. Eight. Uh, I, I could, but I wouldn't be in business. Hmm. Oh, the many. Uh, don't you want the the roundest horse? Well, I, I could, I no. could, I could give you, I could give you some. I, I assume you guys are travelers, right? Right. Yes. 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 Yeah. So, if you need, I could also get you. I also have carts and carriages and wagons because to really help you carry your stuff. And what, what do you have in terms of wagons? Ah, uh, well, I have wagons, carts, carriages. It depends how much, how big you need it. Now, something to fit all four of you. Um, that will be, um, th that would be a wagon. A wagon could fit all of you. And how much would you be charging for the wagon? Uh, that would be 35 gold. Is that mm. with the horses and or oxen or? So if you guys were to just get a wagon, um, I could give you two horses and the wagon for. Uh, well, if you want a, 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 ho a stronger horse that could actually pull the wagon more is I could give you uh, two horses and the wagon for 135 gold. We will take it. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. What is it divided by four? Uh, 135 <laughs> divided by... It's 30... It's like 34. It's 34. Good job. 33.75. Well done. Yeah, 34, y'all. Yeah, just subtract 34 from your gold, everybody. Yeah, yeah. And now we have a wagon. Neat. Sweet. Let's do this. Excellent. Yeah. We... So a wagon oh, and two Sorry, horses. Please. Sweet. We'll load up our wagon with our stuff that we've been carrying on our backs. That makes life better. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Let's go. Let's. 
I believe, Theo, you are the most as- athletic of all of us. It's not even close. Again, glass. <laughs> Big guy, rippling muscles, just like... <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but, so you're good with the whip, aren't you? <laughs> nice. You're good at usually having an efficient whip. Uh, well, yes, 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 but... Um, I need to, you know, uh, Theo can, you know, guide the horses, right? And maybe Glass, you too? I, sure. I need to, I need to be in the wagon. Uh, the wagon needs me. <laughs> can I roll another insight on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with him either, so go. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the apples. 23. Um, you realize that Soar was kind of putting on, like, trying to be great before, and now he's just kind of falling into his normal ways. So Soar is actually fairly lazy. Is what oh, yeah. Learning. Okay. Well, he pitches one every five days. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, cool. And, all right, that's, that's good enough. We'll go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> Using our multiple maps that we have, try and figure out the best way to get there. And as uh, Father Manny is wont to say, we will get the ball rolling. Yes. Oh, I love that. So just, yes. Yeah. Sorry, no, 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 no. I just want you guys to envision every time like Theo lies down, it's always one leg up and one leg off. Like he does it always horizontally. Or like, you know, that, that's just the idea with his left hand throwing up an apple and eating it. That's... <laughs> That's what it always is. Very, very casual. Just, just want it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice. I did. Uh, who is driving? Theo. Combination of Theo and Glass. Do things fast. It makes sense. Yeah. yeah. All I do, is fast. do any of you have proficiency with land vehicles? I have no. proficiency with water vehicles. So, no. That's <laughs> uh, I just need an animal handling check from each of you. Okay. Animal handling, you said? Oh, yeah. Three. Just me and me and Theo. Whoever whoever's driving, yeah. Okay. Oh, so eighteen from Theo and three from okay. from uh, Glass. <laughs> oh, Nat one. You mean? <laughs> oh yeah, it was a Nat one. That's a Nat one. Yes. Oof. Why is this road bumpy? Uh, so, um, I'm going to need everyone to roll a deck save for me. <laughs> 18. Glass got a four. Oh, no. Four. 17 for Theo. Father Manny. It's under core skills. Core skills. And then it's the yeah, save on the right of it. So like a core stats in the top left corner is core stats and you'll see a save next to dex. Uh, okay. Oh. I'll get it eventually. Right. <laughs> it's, it's under skills. Oh, no, no, okay. core stats. Core stats, on core the far stats left. not core skills. Stats. First My page. Bad. Oh, okay, gotcha. Then you see all the strength decks, etc. There, there you go. Okay. It. Nice. Six. Um, so as <laughs> Glass is trying to steer these horses, not really ever steering a horse before in his life, um, <laughs> he pulls a little too hard, um, and the horses shake the carriage, and <laughs> Glass and Father Manny will fall off <laughs> <laughs> and take... Uh, I don't know why that didn't work. Oh. One point of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Lovely. Sword turns to Theo, looking at him, hopefully making eye contact, as he's still unperturbed from his lazy motion, just kind of sticks his head out, goes, I knew we were the most, uh, most athletic. <laughs> <laughs> just... Well, uh... I knew it about myself. <laughs> I guess we'll hop back on and try to keep going. I mostly just laughing. Give me another um, 
deck save? No, no, uh, animal handling. Okay. Do you need one for me as well? Nope. Okay. No, you're good. Just me. You're yeah. the greatest. That's the, Just it's true. It's seven? True. That's, well, that's from Father Manny. That's not me. Oh. oh. I don't Whew. know why Father Manny's rolling. Uh, I got hopefully better than that. Hey. Much better. 20. Unnatural go. 20. Nice. Second time's charm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, you do a much better job with it. So you guys are traveling for, uh, about a day, um, and you come to a cave that you assume is where the kid drew the arrow for. Ah, so, okay, hold on, I'm going to share this screen. Uh, it's, uh, all right. Haha! Look okay. at this. Um, can Let's we see play. anything into the cave? Nope, the cave is dark. Oh, do I any of you have dark I, vision? I, I, think I, do. I do. I do not. All of us except for. Look at us, huh? Just look at us. <laughs> look at us. Yeah. How did we get here? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I can see in the dark. I'm going to walk up to the mouth of the cave and cast light on my shield and just kind of shine it into the cave. Okay. Um, and oh. how much of light is it? it it's let me 15 go, or 30 feet. Let me go ahead and I'll just hit the cast spell here. I'm, I'm chilling back there. here. <laughs> Uh, uh, twenty feet. Twenty feet, and an additional dim light for an another twenty feet after that. Yep. What you cast? What like object are you casting on? I'm gonna cast it on my shield. Okay. Just like that, yeah. Well, let's see here. Let's see if this helps here as I step up to the mouth of the cave and just kind of shine my shield into it. Tension is building. I know, right? I'm okay. Ooh. Um, okay. So, so Soar goes up to to glass and, and picks up a rock. I said, "Do that here. Cast light." I I mean, I can. It's one or the other, buddy. It's not. This isn't an over and over thing. Cast light on this. <laughs> Fine. I cast light. <laughs> <laughs> I cast that on the rock, dissipating then, it from my shield. Then sword, sword throws it into the cave. Uh, okay, make an athletics check for me. Uh, sure thing. Not one. <laughs> oh, Is that with your bad arm or your good arm? Oh, that's certainly with my bad arm. <laughs> I mean, my good arm, because my bad arm doesn't do anything, but it's mm. still a bad arm, because it's my left arm. A plus. Uh, okay, so you're going to throw it. It's not going to go very far. Cast uh, it on this rock. <laughs> as I do this, hold on. You're going to see a little more, and you're going to hear movement in there, and I should probably stop <laughs> at this point, because mm. what's you could all, I mean, you guys could roll initiative now and we could wait, or you could roll initiative next time. We'll do we'll it next up. time. We'll, we'll save yeah. it for next time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm so curious. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Good stuff. That, that session was weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, all right. Thank you, everyone, for, for joining today. Thanks to, to Mike, to John Metzelar, to Austin Bristow, Daniel Ports. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone for joining today. Obviously, every Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, the nature of Detroit. We are going to leave on a cliffhanger here. Um, but hopefully, everyone, I uh, come back next week at 4 p.m. and we're going to continue the session. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>